Hi there. In this video, I'm going to take you through the process of uh, installing SOLIDWORKS 2023. And uh, in, the, in the description below, I'm going to provide you a link where you can download uh, SOLIDWORKS uh, 2023. Before starting your installation, please go ahead and uh, disconnect uh, your internet connection or outgoing internet connection. And also do ensure you turn off your antivirus protection. Uh, the windows antivirus protection uh, also you can turn off the any other anti other form of antivirus you might be having in your in your system or in your pc once you turn them off also do ensure that you go to control panel under control panel uh, click on programs here under programs go to turn windows uh, features uh, on or off so here we want to ensure that these uh, .NET framework files are all turned on so we have .NET framework 3.5 and uh, 4.3 you can also have higher higher versions but do ensure that those two files are all turned on go to your download folder there and uh, start uh, unzipping the download the, the downloaded file of uh, SOLIDWORKS 2023. If you are prompted for password, uh, password is uh, is 123. Uh, it, is, it is always going to be 123 because if you download it from the website I'm going to share with you on the description of, of this video, then the password will always be 123. Uh, after unzipping the file, double click uh, where you unzip it, that folder there. Then go to solid code, also do unzipping of uh, solid code. Just press uh, yes to all. So here go and uh, double click on serial licensing registry and do ensure that they are added to your registry by clicking uh, yes. And then uh, also do click OK just to ensure that they are all added to that uh, registry. Uh, go ahead and now copy solid flexnet.server, copy it, then uh, go to disk C of your computer, then paste it on disk C. After pasting it on disk C, double click it. Then uh, now what we want to do is to run this server install.bat so right click on server install.bat and uh, run it as uh, administrator do ensure that uh, you run this file as admin i'm just stressing on that uh, after doing that then uh, go back to the folder where you did the unzipping then uh, double click on the iso file here you will get the setup file for solidworks uh, 2023 double click the setup file then uh, you will have this window here so here they are saying that do you wish to continue without rebooting the system click or click ok don't reboot the system now here click next then uh, you just see a list there just click next mm, here you cancel then uh, at this uh, point now click on the electrical option to expand it a little bit then uh, here you, what we want to do is to change the SQL server. Click change. Then ensure that you check the radio box for use existing SQL server database and connect using Windows uh, authentication. Then uh, click browse. So here you have a list of uh, servers you might use. So we have uh, three but we don't want to use the first one. So we have uh, these uh, last two. So let's start with the third one to see whether it works. It is just a matter of trial and error. Then uh, here now we can click back to summary. If you get an error, then uh, that server is not okay. Then uh, we can go back to try the second one. The second one there is... Uh, yeah, this this seems to work. Then uh, now here you can just uh, click uh, install now to proceed uh, with the installation. 
click uh, OK. Uh, so this this might take a while. Uh, you just need to be patient and uh, wait. So once uh, the installation is done, uh, you can decide to see what's new on this new version, or uh, you can uh, can go away with that. Do away with that. Uh, so here we want to do the final touches. Don't don't open SolidWorks at this point. Go back to Solid Code folder, then uh, double click on this uh, Solid Code uh, bootloader here. Then uh, double click it to add those uh, numbers to the registry. Also, program files under Solid Code. This program files. Double click it to copy this. Uh, solid solid scope then go to disk c uh, also open program files and uh, paste it there what this does is it is replacing uh, the one which is existing there with these new ones from solid code ensure you do that uh, by copy pasting it then also still uh, on the solid code Go to program uh, files uh, in bracket 86, then copy this uh, SolidWorks PDM and also come to program files uh, 86 and uh, also paste it uh, here uh, so that to replace the existing files on this folder program 86. So at this point now is when uh, you can now go ahead and launch the SolidWorks. Uh, please uh, do remember to subscribe if this video came through in one way or another. Please do support the channel by subscribing and uh, also getting the new videos of, uh, of SolidWorks tutorial. That is, I think, the polite and kind way of also saying thank you. Yes, uh, after doing uh, that subscription, then click on this uh, question mark icon just to see the products you have. Click on uh, my products. So here you will have a list of uh, products you have access to. And uh, in case you need uh, others, you can just click uh, the checkbox so that you can see some of the products. Uh, also, you can enjoy some of the old products of uh, SolidWorks services. And, uh, Thanks again for subscribing to this channel. Uh, also, if you run in, into any technicalities or any problems, please let me know on the on the comment section, and I will respond appropriately. Uh, you can even provide me with a screenshot to understand your problem better. Thanks for watching, and uh, let's catch up in the next uh, video.